Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, today we will be learning how to install the Guacamole LDAP extension. And after we do install that extension, we're going to go ahead and configure our Guacamole server to be able to accept or use LDAP authentication or Active Directory in our case to be able to authenticate and log into our LDAP server. Uh, for this video, we're going to be using Active Directory that I have installed on a Microsoft uh, Windows Server 2022. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to go into uh, the link I have below and download the Guacamole Apache LDAP extension. So if I go ahead and open that, depending on the version you have, if you followed my previous video to install Guacamole, you're probably going to have the latest version of 1.4.0. Okay? If you're not sure which version you have, if you go ahead and open your um, UI or access your web interface of your Guacamole, you're going to see the version listed here on the right hand side. Now that we know what our version is, we're going to go back into the Guacamole um, Apache releases web page. I'm going to click on 1.4.0 and here we can see the extensions. So today we're going to focus on LDAP. Um, for future videos, we're going to do SSO. Uh, which is uh, kind of like SAM. You can use ADFS or um, Azure single sign-on. Uh, you, you, they also have extensions here for Duo. But like I said, today we're just going to focus on LDAP. I'm going to have subsequent videos that are going to talk about the other stuff. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on Guacamole Auth LDAP and have that download. Once it's done downloading, we're going to unzip the file. Okay. We'll unzip the file here. And now we see in here we have our guacamole auth ldap 1.4.0. And it's a Java. At file. this point, we're going to want to connect to our Apache guacamole instance or server using SFTP. So once you're connected with SFTP, which is a secure file transfer protocol, you want to use the put command to transfer the file into your guacamole instance. So first things first, I'll say we should change our directory into the directory or folder in which we will want to save this file. So we're going to go to etc guacamole slash extensions. Okay. If we look in here, I already have the LDAP extension added. Um, in order for you to be able to add that, I'm going to remove this on here real quick. Um, so to add that, all you need to do is just input the command put. And then we're going to go into downloads folder um, where we have the guacamole LDAP extension. And I'm going to drag that and drop that in there. Once you do that. You press enter and you can see it was done. It's done transferring. Okay, so we're going to now exit and now we can connect. So once you connect using SSH, you also want to go ahead and change your directory into the etc guacamole directory. And once you're in there, if you look at the contents of this folder, you're going to have an extensions directory which we have the LDAP extension in there and we're also going to have a guacamole.properties. This is where you will make most of the changes that have to do with your guacamole configuration, be it the extensions and other stuff. For now, we're going to use this to configure our LDAP extension. So what we want to do is open up this file using your favorite text editor. You can use VI, Vim, or in this case, I'm using Nano. So I'm going to paste that on there. So it's guacamole or properties. Okay. And if we open up this file, we can see now that there's only 
one set of configuration in there and that is for my sql so that is the my sql configuration that was done when we originally installed this instance you can see um, the host name and the port and all that other stuff so now i'm just going to make notes here and just put ldap s configuration here and then at this point we're going to go ahead and do the configuration parameters that are included in this documentation. Okay, so we're gonna go back into the command line and we are going to use this guideline to be able to configure our LDAP server in Apache Guacamole. So there's a couple of settings we're going to have to input as part of this configuration. The first one we want to do is LDAP-hostname, okay? Here's the hostname of your Active Directory server or your LDAP server if you weren't using Active Directory. For this scenario, I'm using Active Directory. So I'm going to input my IP address. And then the next thing we want to do here is we want to specify the port. So the LDAP port that we'll be using for this connection, we're going to use secure LDAP. So we're going to use port 636. And for the encryption method, we're going to use SSL because we're going to be using a certificate to be able to authenticate as well because every we want the um, passwords to be um, encrypted when they're going between guacamole and our active directory server that's why we're using port 636 if you are using a self-signed certificate at the end of this configuration i'm going to show you what you have to do to make that self-signed certificate work but in this case my active directory server or my um, Windows Server, that is a domain controller, does use a third-party certificate that should be trusted by this Guacamole server or any server because it's a third-party certificate. It's not self-signed. So I'm just going to leave that on there. The next thing we want to do is LDAP user base DN or distinguished name. Here we want to put in the, um, the user base distinguished name, which is going to be the OU of which Guacamole should be able to look in and find the users that are going to authenticate on this server. So for me here, that's going to be my OU TT dot internal and DC AD DC TT DC dot com. You want to do that the same way for it to match your environment. If you don't know how to get this information, you can go into your Active Directory or Domain Controller and uh, go into um, the Server Manager dashboard. And if you go into Tools, you're going to find ADSI Edit, and there you can find this information. So the next thing we want to do is we want to specify the username attributes, okay? Um, which, if you're familiar with Active Directory, um, most times is going to be Sam account name. Okay. So we're going to do Sam account name. Okay. And the next thing we want to do is the LDAP search bind DN. This is going to be the username, the distinguished name of the user account which is going to be authorized to query the LDAP server to um, be able to accomplish the authentication. So it's going to query the LDAP server to know which user has which permissions to log in. So I'll paste that in there as well. You can see this is using the CN and not OU because this is a sp specific user. And then the last thing we're going to do is the LDAP search bind and then password okay for this um, you want to put in the password of your um, 
user account. So the password for this account is tested and it works. Okay. So you do this and that is simply it for your LDAP configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I will go back in there real quick. If you were doing this for um, unsecured LDAP, the only things you need to change in here is put this to 389. And for this, you're going to do none. Okay. And that should work just fine. But your username and passwords are going to be sent through plain text. Your passwords are going to be sent through plain text. Sorry. Um, but for this, we're going to use SSL. So. And then I will save that. Okay. If you are using a self-signed certificate before we do anything else, what you want to do is CD into etc at SSL's directory, directory, and then you want to CD into search. And in here, there is a command we're going to run to be able to pull our SSL certificate or our LDAP or Active Directory authentication certificate so Apache Guacamole can be able to trust this certificate since it's a self-signed certificate and not a third-party certificate. This step only applies to those who are going to be using this in a test environment that um, they install their domain controller or LDAP server using a third-party certificate only. Sorry, uh, as a self-signed certificate only. If you're using a third-party certificate for your Active Directory authentication, you do not have to do this step because obviously, since it's third-party, it's going to be trusted. So the command you need to run on here to be able to pull that certificate directly instead of going to export the certificate and copying it into your um, guacamole instance using sftp we're just going to use an open ssl command so the command is going to open ssl um, s underscore client space dash connect and then you want to input your domain controllers ip address or the fully qualified domain name and you put the port 636 show search and then we we'll do that and from here you want to specify the name of the LDAP certificate so you can call it anything you want it's up to you and once you do that what you need to do is just press enter and if you see here that certificate was copied okay so now that we've done that we're gonna want to go back into um, the Apache guacamole uh, folder or we can just go ahead and restart the services from here because it doesn't really matter when where you do it uh, so we're going to go ahead and restart two things we're going to restart the guacamole service and we're also going to restart tomcat and then we're going to switch back into our ui and try to log into apache guacamole using an ldap account so what we want to do here is run the command systemctl restart quack d and we just restarted the guacamole service you can check for status to make sure that it did restart correctly and the next thing we want to do is restart tomcat 9 and we can do the same check to make sure it restarted and then from here on, we're going to move now into our web browser and try to access the Guacamole homepage and see if we can authenticate with LDAP. So now that we have our services restarted and we've made sure that they're all running correctly, we're going to go into Chrome and we're going to switch to our Guacamole um, connection or web interface. And once we connect on there, now we're going to enter a user name that is um, allowed to authenticate with Active Directory. So I'm going to log in here as John Oliver 
and once I do that you can see on here that I was able to successful I successfully log in using Active Directory so if I go to options and I go to settings you see here that John Oliver has no permissions okay so John Oliver is just a regular user with no administrative permissions which is fine because if we had an admin and they created connections John Oliver is going to be able to see those connections on here if we um, added him to see those connections and he could be able to also connect to those connections but now we want to give our LDAP user administrative privileges so how you're going to do that is go into um, guacamole login as your admin user you go into settings you go to users and we want to create the user John Oliver okay we are not gonna put a password the next thing we're gonna do is give this user permissions to admit administer the system create new users create groups create connections create connection groups new sharing profiles and also change its own password okay but since this is an LDAP user I really don't care about this because that can be taken care by Active Directory so we're gonna go ahead and save and if I sign out now and re-log in as John Oliver we should now see that John Oliver is an administrator that's why we can see all the other options now John Oliver can create connections he can create groups he can also add users and if you also notice all my users from my active directory or you that we specify are now displayed under John Oliver only because he's an administrator and also he's an LDAP user which which has who has the privileges in guacamole to be able to manage these users so for example if i if i open up a user in here i can go in and assign specific connections to the user disable the accounts and all that stuff so as far as we are concerned with this video we have successfully installed um, the guacamole ldap extension and we have configured it to be able to authenticate LDAP users. This brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, please leave it down in the comment section below. You can also send me an email directly. If you have any specific other videos you may want me to do about Apache Guacamole or any other software or computer hardware, you can always send me an email or put in a request in the comment section below and I will work on doing that as well and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel I hope you have a great day